Welcome back to V Buzz. It's time for a second guest uh, with me, myself, Ruben, and of course, Jay Waliaf here. Uh, the arts are not only a form of entertainment and engagement, some find intense solace and rejuvenation uh, in the connection with their craft. Dancer Radhimalar Govinda Raju uh, is one artist who has rediscovered the profound connection between her mind and soul and her art. And now she is uh, set to help other artists encompass the idea of rebirth, renew, release, recover and rediscover their art through her new venture, a dance theatre called Rehab. She joins us now to tell us all about how Rehab will refresh and empower artists across the industry. But first, before that, let's take a quick look at this video. Check it out. Okay, so the video is entitled Pain. It was very intense. You know, there's so many questions that are running through me and Jay's mind at the moment. But you know what? We'll, we'll discuss the video a little bit later on, Jay. <laughs> Definitely. Welcome to Vibas, Radhi. Welcome back, rather. Thank you very much for having me. It's an absolute <laughs> pleasure. Now, for the benefit of our viewers who didn't catch you on the show the last time, mm -hmm. could you uh, take us through how did you get your start in dance? Well, I started off um, dancing in Temple of Finance. Um, I was there for about four years, doing lots of basic Bhattanati. And then afterwards, I shifted on to uh, Sutra Dance Theatre to do, to do Odissi and ballet. And I was at two places at the same time. Uh, and then it got a bit too heavy, and, and we decided to opt for Sutra Dance Theatre. and. Yeah, I've been under the umbrella for about 24 years now. Um, but I have left and come back to Malaysia. I left to uh, join Shobana J Singh, and I was with her for about five years, uh, dancing full time um, mm. as a professional. Yes, yeah. as a professional dancer, uh, a contemporary dancer. And that is where uh, we did lots of uh, contextualizing dance and outreach programs. Mm. And that is why now I am into dance education mm. and I'm teaching in private schools, right. um, teaching dance mm -hmm. and contextualizing for secondary IGSCE okay. level. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, that's about it. And now freelancing and right. also trying to bring this entity up. Brilliant. Yeah, we, 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 we'll talk so much more about that in, in, yeah. in a short while. But we know you've been dancing for about yes, 20 years odd. Um, how have you learned and shared your knowledge in dance in particular with you know people out there throughout the years? Well, at the beginning, I've always hated teaching. Mm -hmm. um, we, we dread to take dance classes um, because you're young and you mm -hmm. want to be the one to be in the dance class learning from someone right. else. or dancing and not sitting there and teaching someone else. Mm -hmm. But I think with that uh, consistency of uh, learning and giving, mm. um, I think Master Rami has taught us that. Um, if you are receiving, you need to give. Mm -hmm. And if you don't give, then you don't receive. And when you teach, you learn better about mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. And so I started teaching at the age of we were so young, uh, 12. Wow. 
and I used to teach like toddlers and then even January Lau was my yeah. student, mm -hmm. Revati and the whole generation that was after Maven Ku and Gita and yeah. we were the next generation and the generation after that we had to teach them. So it was good because in return you learn about yourself and you become a, a much stronger dancer. Yeah. And from that journey, it took me um, only when I went to the UK yeah. and we did lots of outreach programs mm -hmm. and it was very specific yeah. on how you look at the choreographer's uh, approach to choreography. Yeah. And that was when it was mind blowing for me because I've never had that opportunity yeah. to look at somebody talk about their choreographic yeah. uh, approaches. Mm -hmm. and why there is a um, theme and why there is a, um, a whole different uh, idea behind the, the dance aspect itself. You see it in a very a analytical way. Yes, exactly. Way, yeah. So we had to go through all that and it was good for me because then mm -hmm. I started learning on how to do choreography right, yeah. in that sense. I learned so much with Chopina and just watching her work with the dancers and watching her use tasks yeah. because she's not a dancer herself. I mean, yeah. she was a dancer before, but she wasn't a very strong dancer to say, okay, dance like me and I want you to dance so like me to create this. point of view that you're looking at things by. And you mentioned um, January Lau, you know, and yes. when you were on the show the last time, which was more than a year ago, yeah. uh, both of you were here talking about rehab, a piece that the both of you were yeah. part of. But this time it's the rehab, you know, it's a brand new dance theatre. Tell us a bit more about that, you know. Is that inspired <clears throat> from the performance piece itself? Well, it's not a dance theatre per se. I mean, I just launched this, was it yesterday, two days yeah. ago? Congrats, but, by yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I'm very nervous about it and I'm not really sure what I'm doing with it. <laughs> but um, it's, it's a great initiative. I think because um, with January Lau and I connecting together, and we came to a place where we met each other at a very crucial time yeah. in our lives. And we needed some sort of therapy. Mm. And that's when dance therapy came yeah. in. But we didn't, we didn't expect it to happen. Yeah. And when we, we started dancing in her basement to, to just channel emotions yeah. and channel whatever issues that we were going through at that point of moment. Yeah. And then Joseph Gonzalez asked me, oh, Radhi, would you like to be, uh, you know, partake in the showcase, the Malaysian showcase yeah. in Aswara? And I said, yes, definitely, mm -hmm. January and I would dance. And, um, and then we were like, oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> and so we decided, okay, we'll just choose a piece of music that was empowering, right. because uh, at that point of moment, I was listening to uh, mantras yeah. and, and to psyche myself and mm -hmm. to just get on with life. And so we decided to use that piece of music and create a piece. We didn't really create it because it just came naturally. Yeah and we were just moving to it. It was very therapeutic um, and it just came and gelled together and we produced rehab. Okay. Now, what, what do you think is going to set apart rehab from other sort of, you know, existing dance uh, art companies or even dance companies in, in the institutions or even centers out there? The, the difference probably that you guys are going to bring. Well, it is, it is a very unique uh, name, perhaps, rehab. Yeah. I mean, it's not that, you know, people who has been under some sort of <coughs> abuse and things, and then they come to me for help. I, um, it's more about channeling emotions. It's, um, it's where people come together yeah. mm -hmm. from different backgrounds, um, you know, regardless of gender, regardless of race. Mm. I want people to come together and create something that is so, so much more substantial. Mm. Um, we don't want to create a two minute so you think you can dance quality yeah. where it's always about skills and, exactly, and yeah. flips and, and turns and, yeah. and everything's a wow factor. Yeah. And even recently, like when, when I went to Korea and I had to judge um, the international dance competition. Mm -hmm. and. I looked at 150 dancers from all over the world and they would produce a two-minute piece. 
and everything was about flips and turns and mm. jumps and hops and For you sure, know, skills. Yeah, yeah, lots and lots of skills. And it was amazing. I was like, oh my god, where are these dancers from? Yeah. They're like superhuman. But on the flip side, it's the emotions, and even in the video yeah. that we saw earlier on, it was all about the emotions. Why is it so important to connect the emotions? Exactly. With dance? And at the end of the day, I was judging. I was finding it so difficult to mm. judge because I was only looking for soul mm. in a dancer. I wanted to see if they could reach to me, yeah. inside of me, and say, you know, give me, give me goosebumps. Mm. Let me jump off my seat and like, oh my God, yeah. you're, mm. you know. You want to be moved. Yeah, I want to be moved and yeah. inspired. And so what is that magic? And how do you produce that? Yeah. And it's only within when you create something that is honest mm -hmm. and genuine. Yeah. So it does not matter whether you're skillful, whether you've got legs up to your ears, or you could do 460 pirouettes. Yeah, or um, having no tempo whatsoever. Well, some <laughs> tempo, of course, definitely. Right. It, I'm not saying skills are not important. Yes. They are important. Mm. But then you need to go beyond that. And, right. and what rehab is here for mm. is for artists to come in and to find that magic mm. yeah. to go beyond that right. and if we could collaborate and to find these people mm. to come in and to to find something that is more deeper mm. than just commercial or just yeah. you know performing arts in the sense of keep making pleasing audiences out yeah. there yeah and yeah yeah you mentioned deeper and and, and you know when it comes to we say deeper, you, you automatically think of healing and you know how, how your personal experiences has been uh, with dance and how has it changed you as a person and also perhaps you know healed you of certain situations that you were in and made you whole again to a certain extent. Yeah? Yes, I was a very uh, deprived and, and <laughs> no, <laughs> of course no not. not really, no, of course no. Not, yeah. um, but yes, I mean, as, as a person who has been through life and you've gone through ups and downs mm. and it, it has been such a struggle, mm. making dance as a career, I have been, you know, yeah. really low in my life and not having any, you know, income that could mm. help me yeah. pr do what I want to do, mm. which is dance and choreog you know, do, do some choreography and, and to have dancers under me to make yeah make performances mm -hmm. um, so then I, I opt for a full-time job I've worked in terrible places and you get consumed into the rat race mm -hmm. and you become you know so conventional that you forget about yep. your dreams and your ideas and you get stuck in that rut that red, yeah. um, so then how do you channel mm -hmm. that out yeah. And you need to find yourself. Mm. So it's always been a roller coaster ride for me. But I think all these experiences actually, you know, it it keeps it keeps you very very raw and genuine right. and and human. Yeah. And then your works become better. I'm not saying that all artists has to go through some sort yeah, of yeah. depression and and. You know, life changing. But also yeah. providing a sense of community, you know, for yeah. everyone to come together. So, That's how would you say your new venture, you know, benefits the local performing arts scene? So. Well, looking at um, how conventional life is today, and everybody is chasing for money and trying to, mm. you know, climb the ladder. It's it's one of the most important things to have when you're trying um, to have someone who's who's sane, mm. to keep themselves sane, yeah. and um, to benefit. Like looking at school per se, you know, I have students who tell me, you know, why do we have to come to school and study the things that we're not going to use in the future? Mm. And all we're going to do is we're going to be working from 9 to 5 <laughs> under somebody, and we're just going to try to get save money as much mm. as we could. Yeah. And it's just it's just a rut race, you know. Mm. It's just a, um, getting into a mediocre, yeah. it's a cycle, mediocre so cycle so that see. goes through. Yeah. So how do you channel that? Mm -hmm. Instead of um, resorting to alcoholism mm. or any other yeah. substances yeah. to find that escapism. Right. So how do you find, mm. you know, to go to that realm of, of yeah. liberation? 
And that, of course, is where rehab comes in, and you know, you, you share your dance, experiences yes, as well. Yes, dance would be a form of channeling your emotions and mm. and and how you want to portray yourself and to release that mm -hmm. and to to you know rediscover mm. yourself and to find who you are. Exactly. But there are also other ways, like paintings and music. Yeah. And that is why I don't want to say that dance therapy is the only thing that rehab is going right. to produce. But I would love to bring in painters. I would love to bring in actors and to collaborate and to make something. Yes, okay. right. because it's it's a way. You know, I think arts now can heal yeah. people. Yeah, it's it's definitely evolved through the years for sure. And congratulations on your because I did go through your Facebook. I saw your SSM registration <laughs> yeah. and all that. It's a very exciting moment for you. It's, it's nerve-wracking. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, all the best to you. That's all I can say. And thank you. thank you very very much for taking the time to speak yeah, to us today. If you have the chance, we'll probably so drop by your studio. Yes, please, yeah. and come and dance. We all need an outlet, so we can, <laughs> we can try to dance. I think that's the key word. Yes, we can try. Is that mention tempo just now? mentioned no, tempo just yes. now, but you know what, during the week I think we can work on our dance Definitely. as well. But next week on Viva's former national squash player Azlan Iskanda joins us for a chat about how he continues to contribute to the world of squash. Yes, so girls prepare. We also sit down with Dr. P. V. Lingam to find out more about this volunteerism mm -hmm. and how we can get more doctors involved in non-profit work. Mm -hmm. And on V Arena, we continue our feature on the combat sport of Muay Thai in our part two look of that. And of course, as usual, you know, please do keep writing writing to us at vbuzz at astro.com and do follow us on Instagram at vbuzz underscore hd and right after the show we'll post up all the pictures with exactly. Ravi of course and the rest of our guests great right. stuff right yeah. I hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode from me Jay Walia and Ruben bye bye for now we'll see you next week good night